I request Dr. Vijay Vishwanathan to accept a bouquet by Dr. Jay, Jay Chitra Suresh. I request Dr. S. N. Narsingha to accept a bouquet by Dr. Prashant Tharo. I request Dr. Jayashree Gopal to accept a bouquet by Dr. Leela Bhai. I now request our Dean, Dr. S. N. Narsingan, to give the welcome address. The delegates who have come all the way from different parts of our country and other countries, the staff, faculty of MV Hospital for Diabetes and Professor M. Viswanathan Diabetes Research Center, friends from media and ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to get associated with all of you to welcome for this inaugural function for Professor M. Viswanathan Diabetes and Diabetic Food Update and also for Professor M. Viswanathan Diabetes Center Gold Medal Oration 2023. I think it is my duty to talk about Professor M. Viswanathan because many of you who are youngsters may not be knowing about Professor Viswanathan. In fact, I was associated with him for more than two decades. When he was serving as an honorary assistant professor and subsequently a professor of medicine at Stanley Medical College, he actually organized a very good diabetes clinic first time in the country, way back 1948. In fact, he started his MB Hospital for Diabetes Rai Parum, in the year 1954. MV Hospital also started the Diabetes Research Center, which is now completed nearly 40 years and had published more than 750 articles. Mr. Vishwanathan always had an attention towards primary prevention of diabetes and diet and diabetes. In recognition of his meritorious services to the mankind and to the field of diabetology, he was awarded. Dr. B.C. Roy National Award in the year 1982. This year, 2023, we are going to celebrate his 100th birth anniversary of Prof. Viswanathan. I am glad that Dr. Rodika has accepted to be here, not only to be the chief guest, but to deliver the oration when we are celebrating 100th year anniversary of Prof. M. Viswanathan, who is the founder of this institution. Ladies and gentlemen, the legacy is now carried forward by his son, Dr. Vijay Viswanathan, <coughs> who is not only a chief diabetology, but also currently the president of the Diabetic Food International. He has arranged great scientific feast in the last two days, 9th and 10th of February, at his hospital. Train the Food Trainer program has been done nearly six times in various countries like South America, Africa, Europe, UAE, Western Pacific regions. The seventh edition was done in Chennai for Indian doctors. We have the faculty of delegates and various from various countries, from different parts of our country. The other countries which are participating in this scientific program are from Maldives, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Egypt, Canada, Africa, and Brazil. The doctors are, were given an overview of how to manage diabetic food in the last two days and when they visited the facilities at MB Hospital for Diabetes and they interacted with the experts around the world. The scientific program included the live surgeries, workshops, and presentations from various experts from across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, I must appreciate MV Hospital in general and Dr. Vijay Viswanathan in particular for hosting 
this excellent conference preceded by the CME at his hospital. Not only he had concentrated most of the doctors from India, but also across the globe to bring them here to have a good scientific program. Congratulations, Dr. Vijay, for the Herculean class that we have shown him. Today and tomorrow, we are now going to have continuing medical science, which you are going to witness today and tomorrow. And all of us probably will get involved in workshops, symposia, panel discussions, guest lectures, honor lectures. I think we have structured the program in such a way that we attract not only the general diabetologists, but also people who are interested in the field of diabetic food. And I am sure the knowledge that you are going to gain, the knowledge what I am going to gain, will definitely be useful when we implement it in our clinical practice to take care of the patient for the diabetic food problems. Let me at this stage, ladies and gentlemen, conclude my welcome address and wish Dr. Vijay Viswanathan and every hospital a great future success for this wonderful conference. Thank you very much, Vijay. It's an international non-profit association under the Belgian law. So we come, we follow the Belgian laws. The DFOOT, next slide. The DFOOT International has got various programs, but the flagship project is a trained of food trainer program. We train doctors and nurses from across the world. So as you heard from our dean, uh, you, we have done programs in South America, we have done programs in Africa, we have done programs everywhere. India is the only country where it was not held so far. So before I give my presidency to my good friend from Africa, I thought we should do it in India. Next slide. <clears throat> so we have, as you heard from our dean, uh, the faculties from the United States and Brazil, where we have Dr. Raman and Dr. Grossa, who is our Vice President. Belgium, we have our Vice President of Finance. And we have from Canada, Dr. Marion Bothros, who is our Vice President. And we have Dr. Hari Bishwara from Malaysia. But we have our President Direct, Dr. Abbas from Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. And we have doctors who have also joined the Indian doctors from Maldives, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, these countries, and Maldives also. So these, these countries have also joined Indian doctors, and we had about 80, 80 doctors and nurses from these countries in the last two days. Today is the third day, and tomorrow the final day. And next slide. We are a sister concern of what is called IWGDF. The IWGDF is the International Working Group on Diabetic Food. It's based in the Netherlands. We are based in Belgium. And we are supposed to implement the guidelines which the IWGDF writes. The IWGDF has got guidelines on peripheral artery disease, on high risk feed prevention, on infection, wound healing, and so on. It's brought out every four years. It's a evidence-based guideline and we follow it across the world and our duty as a DFOOT International Implementation Arm is to implement whatever the IWGDF panel of experts. We have 50 countries from where the IWGDF writes guidelines. So I would like all of you to read these guidelines which a lot of hard work goes into it and it's called IWGDFguidelines.org. The last guidelines was published in 2019. The next guidelines will be published in 2023 this year on May 13th in the Netherlands. Next slide. Next slide. So today we have along with our dean, who is the not only the dean of our hospital, he is the vice chairman of the Lipid Association of India. And he is also the vice chair of the World Hypertension League. So he represents India in the Hypertension Council of India. So he's a lipidologist, hypertensionologist, and a physician. So we are joined by him, and we joined by Radhika, who will be introduced uh, by Dr. J. Sri Gopal, and our dean, vice associate dean, uh, Dr. J. Sri Gopal, who is a senior endocrinologist. 
could be releasing this MB diabetic MB diabetic app in another two months. After I tell you what it is. So the MB diabetic has been there for the last uh, one year or so. But what we have done is we have incorporated next year, next slide. It's it's possible now for the public to consult our multidisciplinary. We have multidisciplinary team now. We have a vascular surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, and so on. So it's possible for the public to consult our multidisciplinary team at the hospital with any query they have in relation to the diabetic foot ulcer or diabetes treatment. Next slide. It's connected to a WhatsApp number. So the moment they enter the, uh, the app, it's, uh, it's downloadable from Play Store, and you can put in your some details, and within 30 seconds you are connected to a WhatsApp number. And our multidisciplinary team will give an opinion on the diabetic foot ulcer and on diabetes also. Next slide. Uh, we have set up, as I said, a multidisciplinary team, and we have saved the legs of more than 90,000 people in the last two or three decades from a major amputation. So we are able to but uh, revascularize the limb, we are able to provide offloading, we are able to provide a multidisciplinary approach to diabetic foot. And that's how we were, we were able to save so many people's legs from major amputation. It's easy to cut off somebody's leg, but it's difficult to save that person. Next slide. So in the past 30 years, we have developed a kind Teniswara Romania. Dr. Rodica has been honored with various international awards, including the uh, American Diabetes Association Endocrinology Fellow of Excellence Award in 2001 and the NIDDK Award for Research Achievement in the Pearl Trial. I'm just reading out two of her many uh, awards listed here. Uh, Dr. Rodica has been the PI and a member of the steering committee in several landmark clinical trials in diabetes, including the ACCORD trial, the NIDDK-funded Diabetes Control Complications trial, Epidemiology of Diabetes Interventions and Complications, the EDIC trial, Preventing Early Renal Loss in Type 1 Diabetes Pearl, the Bypass Angioplasty Revascularization Diabetes 2, Barry 2D, and the Glycemia Reduction Approaches in Type 2 Diabetes, the GREAT trial. Dr. Rodica has published more than 200 peer-reviewed manuscripts and book chapters. She chaired the 2017 ADA Position Statement on Diabetic Neuropathy and has served as Chair of the ADA Scientific Research Review Clinical and Chair of the ADA Diabetes and Cardiovascular Disease Interest Group. Most recently, she has been elected to Chair the Precision Prognostic and Type 1 Diabetes Working Group of the ADA EASD. Dr. Rodica is presently the Larry D. Sodokwis Professor of Diabetes. She is a prominent diabetologist at Michigan Medicine and a recognized leader in the field of diabetes and diabetes complications. She is the Vice Chair for Clinical Research in the Department of Internal Medicine and the Associate Director for Clinical Research, Mentoring and Development of the Elizabeth Caswell Diabetes Institute at the University of Michigan. <coughs> it is indeed a great pleasure for the Scientific Committee of Professor M. Vishwanathan Diabetes Research Center to present the Professor M. Vishwanathan Gold Medal Oration Award 2023 to Dr. Rodica Popesby. I request Dr. Vijay Vishwanathan to Dr. Radhika Pop Bosai, President, American Diabetic Association. I request Dr. S. N. Narsingan to hand over the citation.
to start by thanking uh, very much Dr. Vijay Vishwanathan and the entire uh, team here in Chennai for um, giving me this distinct honor to be the recipient of this gold uh, oration medal in such a momentous year celebrating the uh, 100 years uh, of Professor Vishwanathan um, celebration. Um, and I will start also by uh, giving you a perspective on uh, a complication of diabetes. Uh, as uh, very kindly the uh, organizer have mentioned, I have worked a lot in the field of complications and more recently uh, I have uh, had the distinct honor to lead the cardiovascular interest group of the American Diabetes Association uh, and uh, started to uh, understand the impact of heart failure in diabetes, which will be the focus of this oration. Uh, again, I'd like to start by saying that it's my first time in India and yesterday I had the opportunity to visit the hospital of Dr. Vijay uh, and also attend some of this workshop on the foot. Uh, and I was impressed about the hospital, the facilities, um, and everything that is being done for patients to prevent amputation, which is another big interest of the American Diabetes Association, as it is here in India and of myself. And with that, let's, uh, let's get started. Just to give you a little bit of a historical perspective, as a clinician and an endocrinologist, uh, treating people with diabetes in my daily practice, we try to make the life of our patient better. But for that, we need to make sure that we understand what do we need to do in our daily practice. And uh, before the pandemic in 2018, during our annual meeting, the scientific meeting of the American Diabetes Association, as part of our cardiovascular interest group, um, a room of more than 4,000 clinicians, because the American Diabetes Association has a lot of clinicians, have asked us a question. We don't know how to diagnose heart failure. We are not cardiologists. We are endocrinologists and primary care physicians. How do we know how to diagnose heart failure in our patients with diabetes? And that was the beginning of this working group that actually included endocrinologists, primary care physicians, and of course our colleague cardiologists who know very well how to diagnose heart failure to try to understand the magnitude of this complication and what is the evidence there. And what we have learned in the last several decades and uh, diagnosing as early as possible. And with that, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the epidemiology and what is the current state. I mean, what is happening today in people with diabetes worldwide as far as heart goes. Very briefly, I will discuss mechanism. But then I will spend the most important time on how we diagnose in our practice. What are the tools and what can we do? to help these patients. Dr. Eva has shown you earlier that indeed, unfortunately, the prevalence of diabetes worldwide has for many years already reached these epidemic proportions. Unfortunately, the numbers continue to rise uh, despite our efforts in many countries, including here in India, to the diabetes prevention. We haven't been very effective yet, and that is absolutely true here in India through the very nice studies that Dr. Mohan uh, had uh, published a few years ago. Uh, and definitely, the bar burden of diabetes uh, is, uh, as I said, uh, a, a critical component of the um, cause of mortality.